I'm actually very, very excited about Elon Musk being the new owner of Twitter. I really didn't think it was going to happen, but here we are. It's going to be probably six months before we see any significant changes. Um, I think there's just, there's a whole lot of stuff that needs to be done along the way. So, um, but so many people are freaking out already. Some people, so many people have already uh, quit. Oh, oh, I'm not going to stay on this platform. And they're just like, they're automatically assuming it's going to become some sort of a bullying thing. And I think it, this is, this reminds me of when, when uh, it reminds me of homophobia. And you're going to go, what? It's like straight guys that are homophobic are scared that another guy is going to treat them like the way they treat women. And so the, the, that's what's kind of going on right now. A lot of people that are on the left are scared that they're going to get the same treatment that they've been giving the right on the platform for, for years now. You know, I, I think that's the real fear. And I, I, I can understand why that fear is there. Um, uh, one of the only ways to stop people from piling on to someone is if they can actually fight back. And the way things have been set up right now, it, people can pile on to someone on the right, and that person on the right can't fight back with anything that has any sort of sting at all. They can just be milk, have milk toast things they can say back, and, and it's not going to stop the, the piling on. You know, but if they can actually be mean back, the piling on will stop. It will stop. Now, it, you can't allow too much meanness. There, there has to be some sort of balance. I've been on uh, message boards and, and uh, uh, political forums since the late 80s with BBSs. And, so, and, and I even ran a... a a, a political forum for about seven years and something that just has held true all these years is that when when you have one side have too much control of the way uh, uh, of the rules and 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 the moderation okay you have one side that gets too much control it's it 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 strangles the other side they just don't want to they don't want to, to interact anymore, not with anything significant anyway, right? So when the, the left ha has too much control of the rules and such, they're like, they're, they're like, no, you can't say anything mean in any way. Don't ever hurt anyone's feelings. And, and it gets so much into that that, that that people just, they're just like, what are we supposed to say at this point, right? And then at that point, you know, once the most of the people on the right leave, then it leaves the left to either pat themselves on the back or to do a lovely purity spiral. And we like we, we, we see how those go. I've seen so many forums die because of that very sort of reason. Right. But I've also seen the other side when you have people on the right that try to to uh, uh, to do things their way. You know the the more Trumpish sort of way. Um, it just becomes a big bully fest, you know, and and it, it gets ratcheted up too. You know, once they realize, oh, we got away with this. Okay, well, let's ratchet up a little more. Oh, well, you didn't have a problem with this. It's, this isn't just much more than this. Oh, are you thin skinned? Right. It's just so. It's just you know. It, it just becomes this this horrible, you know, and, and I, I think Elon Musk realizes that as well. I don't think he's stupid. I think he can see that that you, you can't just let one philosophy run a forum, you know, or at least one political philosophy. You, you can let the philosophy of free speech try to run the forum, and that's the best way. And those are the forums that have lasted. Those are the ones that stick around. I mean, there does have to be some moderation, but you also have to let people defend themselves, too. So, um, now I find it curious that, um, he, he's, that he's focusing, he says he's focusing on people having to prove who they are. 
So maybe they'll have to give their driver's license number or something. And then that's going to be rather interesting. That's going to be an interesting data collection. Um, but I think it's really, really a good thing that people have to prove who they are. Because, I mean, if he's going to allow people to say more things, um, if people do end up saying something that's illegal, it can be tracked back to them very easily. So, and there'll, there'll be databases for that. So, um, but in general, I'm very excited for this. Um, now, I mean, this, this could backfire. This could turn out to go from being on one extreme where it's, it's ran very liberal, uh, right now. And, and it might, maybe it'll switch to running that way where it's just a big WWF smackdown. And you know what? That would that would kind of suck. We would have a big learning experience from that. You know, a big learning experience. And then whatever comes uh, whatever new platform comes from there would would have learned from those experiences. Um, but I have a feeling this is gonna go pretty well. Um, I, I I don't think Elon Musk is stupid, you know. Um, maybe some of you do think he is. Uh, so there are some people that just... I, it, it's just so weird how some people just automatically assume that because he's pro-capitalism, he's some far-rightist. I mean, the way things are right now... Frank Zappa would probably be called a far-rightist right now. He'd be called an extreme-rightist because he, he was pro-capitalism. Um, <laughs> uh... God, there was someone else I wanted to mention, and I can't think of them right now. But uh, uh, oh, oh, even even George Carlin would probably be considered uh, on the right now, you know. Just like uh, Bill Maher is getting considered on the right because he he actually criticizes some of the crazy shit that's going on from some of the the crazier sides of the left, right? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but. I'm not sure where I was going with that. I just hope that there's going to be some balance. We we need some changes no matter what. No, no, no matter how it goes, though, no matter how well or, or poorly it goes, I think there will be other platforms that people will try to start up. They'll, they'll, they'll be the safe space platforms. And I'm not going to join those. I have no intention of joining those. I have no intention on joining a platform that the only things you're allowed to say are approved messages. No interest in that at all. So if those kind of platforms come up, you, you won't be finding me on them. So. <laughs> I also worry, though, that we have upcoming creeping fascism. Because too many people on the left have tried to be so open-minded that their brains fall out to where things that are not, I mean, maybe some of these things will be accepted in 50 years, right? <clears throat> but some of the ideas that are being put out there, they're, they're seen as destructive by the other side to the point where people are now becoming afraid that society and Western civilization itself is falling apart. And when people have that kind of fear, they're willing to grasp onto kind of fascist-like ideas a lot easier. They want to grasp onto something that they can consider normalcy. And it's building up. Some of what we've been seeing in Florida and in Texas are probably just the beginning of what we're going to see. Too many people on the left are just not willing to draw lines to say, no, we can't cross this line, at least not right now, you know, in society. Let's, let's just settle where we are for now. Let, let the changes we've already had in the past over this past decade, let let this stuff sink in, wait a while, and then start put trying to push the Overton window some more. But as I've said for years, if you try to push the Overton window too far, you, you push it too quickly, it's going to snap back to a much earlier period, and it's going to be miserable for everyone. And I don't want to see that happen. 
I'm just hoping that what we're going to be seeing happen with Twitter will be a step in the right direction. We shall see, though, right? Thanks for watching.